At first, I wasn't sure what to make this week's Poorly Explained Comics about, given the number of new trailers for superhero movies and shows that dropped this week. Gotta love the old analysis paralysis. But ultimately, Blue Beetle won the day in both my heart and my calendar. So today, we're going to be talking about the star of the upcoming movie and most recent person to don the Blue Beetle mantle, Jaime Reyes. As industry standards go, Jaime is still relatively recent as a superhero, by which I mean he was created less than 20 years ago, making his debut in 2006 Infinite Crisis. The Blue Beetle legacy itself is much older, stretching all the way back to the 40s across several different comic publishers, but we'll get into that another day. Probably. Jaime's Blue Beetle powers come from a device known as the Scarab, originally believed to be mystical in nature, but now understood to be one of a series of living weapons created by the alien civilization known as the Reach. Scarabs were intended to be dropped off on a planet, attached to a host, and overwrite their personality, providing the Reach with an infiltrator who could help them take the planet over, but due to reasons, this didn't end up happening on Earth. Also, recent developments have indicated the Scarab might still be magical after all... who even knows at this point? Initially recruited by Booster Gold to stop Brother Eye, a rogue AI satellite initially created by Batman, the Scarab ended up phasing Jaime into the space between dimensions known as the Bleed. Although only a few minutes passed for Jaime, a year passed back on Earth, and the initially dormant Scarab had awakened for the will of its own, although still disconnected from the Reach's programming. Eventually, Jaime and the Scarab ran afoul of the malevolent civilization, and ended up thwarting their plans, forcing them to retreat. In theory, the Scarab functions a lot like a Green Lantern ring, ironic considering the Reach and the Green Lantern Corps are bitter enemies, but by way of an Iron Man suit. And after bonding to it, Jaime has access to a wide array of powerful weapons and gadgets. Although it doesn't generally overwhelm Jaime's personality, the Scarab still has a mind of its own and tends to prefer more excessive, destructive options, needing Jaime to rein it in. Although he doesn't have the same lengthy history in the comics as his immediate predecessor Ted Kord, Jaime's seen frequent use in other media adaptations. He was a very popular recurring character in Batman the Brave and the Bold, and also a prominent character in Young Justice, with the Reach also playing a large part as antagonist in Season 2. Whether or not Jaime's prominence carries over into live action will obviously depend on how the Blue Beetle movie performs this August, but based on this first trailer, I'm hoping he finds success.